Hey guys, Benji from Caskets here. Just gonna quickly run you through our playback and guitar rig. So first off, we've got uh, rack mounted neural quad cortexes, um, both with Sennheiser EW100 for the wireless units. It's a pretty simple setup, it's just in and out. So we've got a patch for every single song we're running in, in scene mode. So essentially, um, you know, we've got our rhythms, solos, cleans, and the mutes as well for when we're not playing. Um, each song is a different tempo, so we run different delays to tie in with the click and the tracks and stuff. So it's a really cool unit, an absolute workhorse. Never had one fail, touch wood. <laughs> uh, for the rhythm tones, we're actually using the PV505 lead. Um, and then we run that through uh, a couple of IRs. They're from the Heavy Hitters Own Hammer unit. So one's a 57 and one's a ribbon mic. Uh, just split them, and a nice blend between. So this is our playback and in-ear rig. So we're running Ableton Live uh, with Strange Electronic set list. Um, so basically we put every song we've ever done in here and then depending on where we're playing, how long the set list is, we'll Flick them over to this side and it just plays through. It's super awesome piece of software. Um, and then this is our in-ear rack. Uh, all stereo mixers, Sennheiser, EW100s again. And then down here we have our like input-output rack. So we have a stage router for our mixing. Um, uh, this is the input rack for the drums. Same again for the guitars, the vocals, and then this all comes out straight into the stage box via these two multi pins here. Um, so, I'm going to take you through the guitars I'm using on this tour. Um, currently using Jericho Fusion uh, 7 string with the Evertune Bridge. Um, really solid guitar. Um, it's a little bit heavy, but it plays awesome, keeps its tune. Um, yeah, really. Really sweet ride. I actually dropped Jericho a message um, a bit back asking if um, I could get a discount on a guitar because I was going to buy it and Dave just hit me up and said oh yeah I'll just send you a couple out and we've been working together ever since. Really rad. So it was mainly the shape and uh, it's really difficult to find Evertune bridges in tele shapes so that was kind of the reason I like it looks stunning so I just got attracted to them due to the looks and then they play really awesome as well so yeah so we have a Nazgul in the bridge and a Sentient on the neck they're both Seymour Duncan um, passive pickups I used to use active ones the EMGs but I found that these work really well with the, the telly kind of tone um, so I've just been sticking with them um, they sound great tone volume always up um, I do use coil tap which splits these pickups into single coils on a few tracks um, gives you more of a twangy telly kind of sound rather than the balls to the wall metal tone that we usually use. Um, yeah, tone's always cranked, 10 on both the rhythm and the like lead pickups. So we're playing a, a little bit of a weird tuning. It's drop B flat on the top six strings and then we have an extra F on the bottom. Uh, so for this gauge, it's any ball, um, a 74 to a 13. They're the like beefy slinky set for eight strings, but I throw the ten away. <laughs> yeah, they're dope. So um, I'm currently running uh, exactly the same as my backup. Um, same specs, same everything really. Um, never had to use it really. Um, and there's literally no difference between them. Um, one plays a little smoother, but that's about it. I don't like to bring several guitars out because if you do need to change, then you kind of, it's not natural to just switch to a different guitar. But we're both using Enki cases. Um, they keep the guitars nice and safe. Um, yeah, I mean, the workhorses, they just take any hits you give them. Thanks for checking out our game with us. Stream us on Spotify, Caskets and I'll catch you at a show.